All right, we are live for the February 1st, 2024 fishing report, but we're doing things a little different today. If you noticed in the title of this video, it is the big giveaway, and we do this on the first of every month. We're giving away an electric reel. We're giving away a big package of fishing tackle. We're giving away a fishing reel, and we're gonna be giving away a couple of gift cards to you guys in the live chat. For the gift cards, all you gotta do is be in the live chat. And that is gonna happen right here, right now, right after the, uh, this is gonna happen right after the fishing report. What's up, Gorilla Caveman? Good to see you in here. All right, so we'll start with the fishing report. Where is it? All right, so I am going fishing tomorrow. I'm gonna be heading out and we're gonna be going to the Patch Reefs. We're gonna to try to get some live ballyhoo. The ballyhoo seem to be running strong now on the patch reefs. And then we're gonna head out and we're gonna dr drift in 130 foot for a mutton snapper. Oh, I'm getting a lot of notifications. The wahoo are around, and I put wahoo around with the three dots because I have not caught a wahoo yet, but people have been ca catching them scattered around. It seems like the wahoo bite seems still to be on fire so it's a good time a couple of my buddies are going out wahoo fishing tomorrow and if you're looking for wahoo they're pretty much all along the coast of florida um right off this edge here probably like 120 to 240 foot is a good way to troll for them so i like to just zigzag along the coast until you find them once you find them start kind of just trolling in that area and you should hook their friends because they do travel in groups. That's what Wahoo do. If you hook one, you should be able to hook two. So that's the Wahoo. The Kingfish, they're still biting good too. They're usually exactly in the same place that Wahoo are. Uh, sailfish, a lot of people catching sailfish right now. A bunch of boats flying kites. And uh, I got a couple buddies going out for sailfish tomorrow and they've been catching like two, four, six sails a day seems to be going off. I'm not a pro sail fisher though. I don't do it that often, but this year, maybe I'll get into it a little bit. But tomorrow, one to two foot sea, six to 10 knots. We got low wind, seas don't look too bad. It's time to go fishing. And that is today's fishing report. Now I think it's time to have some fun, don't you guys think? And you know what? I got myself a beer. <laughs> the last time we did the giveaway stream, I was taking shots. I did a shot for every $100 in sales on the South Florida Fishing Channel. And that quickly got reckless because you guys are just so supportive and awesome. And then I had to get drunk and then I had a headache. So I got a beer. I will take a shot if we hit $500 in sales on South Florida Fishing Channel during this, during this stream. And we have new merch. Let me show you guys the merch real quick before we move on to the giveaway. Um, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. It should be on here. New products. Oh, okay. Why is it not showing? Oh, there it is. It's all the way on the end. If you don't want to scroll all the way down, you could just go to the top and hit that search icon and just type in wind because it's a windbreaker. Check it out. Look, this is me wearing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I wish I had this before, but I got one now. It's even got the South Florida Fishing Channel logo on it. And, you know, I should put it on for you guys. But that is, that is what's up. That is our new merch and I can see any sales coming in. So if we do hit $500, I will take a shot for y'all. But I, I'm not trying to drink too much today as I'm opening a beer. All right, let me catch up on the chat. How are you guys all doing today? What are you guys catching? What's the fishing report looking like? Dirty Dan, what's up? I hope you win something today. Flipping Florida Outdoors, what's up? I've been good, Gorilla Caveman. Hope all is well. Living naughty, what's up, what's up? How are you guys? I'm doing great. Thank you everyone for your hellos and all that. 
Uh, boaters uncensored. Still never caught a Wahoo bucket list fish. You, you know, the thing with Wahoo is you got to be out there to catch them. And it's... I mean, I'm sure you guys know my struggle with Wahoo. Like, sometimes I catch them left and right, and sometimes I'll have a season where we catch, like, one or two all season. Mm. Got to get out before the gale warnings this weekend. Uh, yeah. There, wait. Wait, the... Did the forecast change again? Let me let me check the forecast. You know, Florida forecasts are insane because they change every... <clears throat> Like every few hours, the forecast changes. Jacksonville is still running three plus foot offshore. Oh, damn. So you guys still have some bad weather up there. I think we, we must have some good weather down here. Hold on. I am just taking a quick peek here. Are you guys excited about those electric reels right there? Somebody is going home with an electric reel today on this stream. Tomorrow. Oh, man, you're right. Sunday looks really bad. All right, but Saturday looks good. So if you're gonna go, if you can take a day off this weekend, take off Saturday to go fishing because Sunday looks brutal. Good to know. Saturday looks all right. And then tomorrow, tomorrow looks all right too. No, tomorrow looks great. <sighs> Hopefully the muttons are biting tomorrow. Oh, do y'all remember on the stream, was that yesterday? I said, I, yeah, that was yesterday. I said I was going to cook poor man's lobster with kingfish. It was the best thing that I have ever had. It, the kingfish tasted just like lobster, and I'm not even kidding about that. Sonia, thank you for ordering a hoodie. Much love. <laughs> hey, I might have to be taking a shot at this rate. Here, let me, I actually got, okay, so you can get the hoodie in two different colors. Let me show you all this. Check it out. So this is called safety green, but it's really more of a church roost color. And then yo, I I've been getting requests for merch for a long time now. So this has been a long time coming to finally get get some. Nice, I like it. It's got little pockets for your hands. It's got a it's got a front pocket too, a kangaroo pouch. And then it's got the uh, South Florida Fishing Channel embroidered hogfish in white. Mmm. Yeah. I already wore it on the boat and it worked great. I got beat up. But it kept the salt water off of me and I just, I threw it in the laundry afterwards and it washed perfectly fine. Steven, going to school. <laughs> hey, thank you, Dwayne. Steven, going to school for web development. Don't, don't I do that for a living? Uh, I've done a lot of web development starting out. Yeah, the first like, yeah, from like 19 to 26, I did a ton of web development. I still do web development, like I do all my own websites and stuff, but I don't, uh, I don't take on contracts so much anymore. Oh, we got another, we got another uh, windbreaker sale. William, thank you for that. Nice. Oh, and you used the gift card that you won yesterday. Smart, smart. Look at that. You basically just got yourself an almost free windbreaker. <laughs> mm. 
How is the material on sticking to your skin on the inside? I haven't had any issues with it sticking to my skin. Ryan, Heiko, if I want to catch a wahoo, come with you guys. Didn't you just leave, Ryan? Are you still down here catching a wahoo? I thought you flew out like a few days ago. Oh, well. Wow, that was loud. Oh, we just got a subscriber. Oh, you know what? Let me move that subscriber icon to over here. Bam, there you go. I still have text-to-speech on here. So if you guys like, if you guys push that money button in, in, on the chat and you donate money and you type something, my computer says it out loud. I'm, I'm surprised no one's abused that yet. I thought for sure it was going to get abused. Um, okay, who is going to be at the Everglades, the Everglades Seafood Festival this weekend? Because I'm going to be there on Saturday. And hopefully, I'll see some of y'all. Um, I'm going to be at the Seashore booth, and I'll be cruising around there. Six summer dogs. I built a beach in my backyard. Why not do my channel out there with lights and all? Um, because of the mosquitoes. <laughs> if you've ever tried to do something outside in the Keys, it's pretty rough. Um, yeah, if, if I had my live stream outside, that would be, a, that would be pretty tough. Um, especially if I have studio lights out there. They'll come in like ka kamikaze. It'll be Pearl Harbor. And I'm going to be the first ship that sinks the second those studio lights turn on. But I have some really good news. I spent the last three or four days organizing downstairs. I put in huge shelving units. I got my ice maker, chest freezer, fridges. Everything's cleaned up. I have a full rigging station. I have all these rod holders. It's going to be insane. I'm going to be filming so much content down there. It's been a long time coming and everything is finally coming together. So pretty stoked about that. Oh, why am I out of breath? The Gorilla Caveman. You want to visit me in Florida? Thanks for the channel building advice. You're over 3,200 subs now. It's only been three months since starting your channel. Dude, yeah. Last time I was on your channel, you were at like 2,000 something subs. You're growing fast, man. That's that's legit. I mean, that is, that's faster growth than I had when I started my channel. So keep it up, man. All it takes is for a couple videos to go super viral and then it'll set you on a good path to build a foundation off of. I remember my my first viral video here. I'll show you right now. My first viral video on the South Florida Fishing Channel. This was, I think, 2016. Right here, six years ago. So this is one of my earlier videos at 3.5 million views. And this video like really put my uh, YouTube channel kind of on the map. And I just remember like it taking off from there. I did some weird stuff in this. Like <laughs> when I look back on these older videos, they're hilarious. What am I doing right there? Oh, and the best part is I was giving fishing advice and I barely knew what I was doing. And like all my advice was so wrong. It was just clap. It was great. I think that's what made it so viral is is I just like had no clue what I was doing, but I was just doing it anyways. Uh, good times, good times. Justin, just graduated high school, 16 years old, take you fishing. Oh, you graduated high school at 16? Did you skip a couple grades? Don't people graduate at 18? Or how does that work?
<laughs> Scott says the older videos were so good. That was the first video of mine that you saw. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm out of breath because of the mosquitoes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that I've seen while fishing? Mm, probably a great white or yeah, probably a great white. I'm trying to think if I've seen anything crazier than that. Probably a shark almost biting me was the craziest thing. Damn, Justin, you skipped three grades. Don't stop. By the sounds of it, you don't even need to go to college. You can just start a business and unless you want to be a doctor. Damn, skip three grades, sheesh. How does one skip three grades? Are you homeschooled half the time? <laughs> what, did, what did Jason, Jason, the blonde with the thong? was the craziest thing I've seen. <laughs> mm, no comment. Heiko, did I hear that they're closing Gag Grouper until 2026? I did hear that, which is crazy. It doesn't really affect me because I don't, I'm not really on the Gulf Coast and I don't go Gag Grouper fishing. But man, that is crazy. I know I heard about that and it's kind of scary because the fishing gets tough. The fishing regulations get tighter and tighter every year. Every year there's like two or three pretty major things getting passed like Mahi going from 20 a person to 10 a person, blackfin tuna going from catch as many as you want to two a person. Like every year it gets tougher and tougher. Now they're taking away grouper. And it's just like in 10, 20 years from now, it's going to be like you're allowed to keep one mangrove snapper per boat or something. It's going to be so stupid. But, you know, we got to enjoy it while we can because... Who knows how much longer we can keep doing this for. Shots? Why is everyone saying shots? Did someone just make a $500 order or something? Let me look. Why is everybody saying shots? Shots, shots, shots. Mmm. Oh, you got yourself some yellowtail hooks. Nice. Wait, I thought those were out of stock. Hold on a second. I must have added them back into stock. Okay, no, no, we have them in stock. Nothing to worry about. Guys, the, the fishing tackle game is about to have a insane boost over here we got some things cooking in the works it's going to be really exciting um so you know of course we have our lap wait you can't see what i'm talking about we have our we have our wheel of names okay we're about to spin this but I want to give a gift card away to one of you guys in the chat right now because you came to the stream early. You deserve it. I'm going to give $25 gift card to somebody in the chat that can answer this question first. Oh my God. I'm having a hard time breathing. It must be the altitude. You know, here in Florida, we're just at such a high altitude. It's ridiculous. Oh, you guys just want to take shots. <laughs> hey, the Gorilla Caveman, you're not a real Florida man unless you drink PBR. You know what's really funny? We have a bar here. 
of Sharky's. I don't go there often, but when I do go there, the second the bartenders see me, they take a tall boy PBR and throw it to me every single time. As soon as I walk in, because they know that's my drink of choice. <laughs> so I do love me some PBR. And it's, it's awesome because that bar is always packed and everyone's always trying to get drinks. And I just walk in and I'm like, whoop, catch my PBR flying down at me. <laughs> and it is a bit of a flex, you know, when everyone else is waiting for their drinks. And I get one tossed to me. <laughs> Grilly, you got some fans in the chat. Is my little boat, or my mangrove snapper boat, going to be back on the channel? Yep. And I actually have a new boat coming that we're going to be doing some mangrove snapper fishing with. Oh, that reminds me. I was supposed to send out a contract today. Um, yeah. I got to do that. William, PBR is Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Steve says the internet is the worst thing that could happen to fishing and there is no hiding good or bad information from state regulators on fishing. Yeah, you know, I agree. I kind of feel like I'm part of the problem sometimes too because I'll make a video about fishing and like, I'll like mention where I'm fishing or something. And then next weekend, there'll be like four spots right on <laughs> that spot. And I'm like, damn it, I'm, I'm part of the problem. But yeah. Was there any of my boats at the boat show recently? Uh, I don't know. It depends what boat show you were at. Dwayne squid fishing video you're up you're up like Tampa area right I don't know next I don't know when I'm gonna be out there again bring on the question oh yeah that's right I almost forgot what was happening um hmm I got a good question okay hold on I just gotta double check my answer to make sure I know what the answer is Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, where is it? Where is it? All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. That sounds good. That sounds good. One second. I almost got the question. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is... Interesting. All right. Okay. I'm going to ask a question. And the answer. Well, I got the answer right here. <laughs> Jim, why don't I do a list of questions before the show? You know what, Jim? I ask myself that every time I start streaming. I just. <sighs> I know. I, I know. I know. I'm... David, are you serious? David, John, you just ruined it. Oh my God, I can't, why would you say that? David, David guessed the question that I just was about to ask. I was gonna say, what was the top selling product on the South Florida Fishing Channel this month? And the answer is lip candy jigs. And David just answered, he literally answered that question before I even asked the question. So everyone can thank David for me now needing to think of a new question. <laughs> Ryan's still giving me crap about the Dodge. That's great. Oh. Hmm. Hey, you get you get negative points. 
No, no, no. He's not getting the gift card. You guys need to stop trying to answer the question before I even ask it. This has happened so many times. It's so much work for me to even... You guys are all on his side now, huh? You know, if I give him the gift card, it only takes it away from one of you guys. <laughs> TNA says just give it to him. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to ask a different question. <laughs> Jim says go get another beer. It's going to be a while. All right, here we go. I'm going to ask the question. Nobody say anything. All right. All right, here it comes. I hope you guys are ready. I hope your fingers are on the keyboard. What was the top selling fishing rig in 2023, the top selling rig on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. So if you go over to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. <laughs> oh man, that was stupid. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you why that was stupid in a second. But that is the question. You can view all rigs. Look, what was it? Was it some hooks? Was it our chicken rigs? One of our most popular thing. By the way, our chicken rigs, we now have in three different sizes. We have a 60 pound four rod hook, small hook, 60 pound. That is so good for like, for million snappers and all those like, if you just want to bring up a stringer full of good, delicious fish, we now have the, uh, the small one. And then we have the two big ones, the 100 and the 80. These are good for big grouper, big tile fish and all that big mouth stuff. And then the 640 is really good for your Toro snappers, your yellow eye snappers, vermilion snapper, um, your rosies, did I say all those fish. So yeah, but, uh, what is it? Some deep drop lights. What could it be? What could it be? Which one is it? Okay, I'm about to look at the chat and see what you guys wrote. Look at all these delicious things we have. I hope you guys are buying some sea witches because we're almost sold out. I think we only have like 10 left in stock, like two or three of each color. Get them while you can. The Wahoo are chewing these things. We, we had two of them get eaten off on our last trip. So the Wahoo are, they're chomping them. They love them. Go get yourself some. All right, um, let's go back to the chat. Who got the question right? Okay. All right, the answer was, and this is why I was laughing earlier. So when I when I went to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com, it was right here, look. Popular rigs, <laughs> it's right there. It's the weedless squid rig. It's our most popular rig. It catches so many fish. Every single person that has run the weedless squid rig has hit me up and been like, it's like, it's usually the first thing to get hit in, in almost every spread. All right, that was the answer, the weedless squid rig. Oh, the black and purple. You know, the bloody glow actually does really good. This is a glow in the dark. So is the bait fish glow. All right. All right. Who got, who got it first? Let's see. Let's check it. Okay. Uh, you guys want more bikinis on my show, huh? Noted. All right, who got it first? <laughs> Eric, 
Eric Fisher, hey man, just seen your live, had to stop in, say thanks for all you do, love your content. Thank you, Eric. All right. All right, it looks like the very first person that set the squid rig was Dr. Tom. Dr. Tom, congratulations. Wait, Tom, Dr. Tom, that's, wait, that's a club member. Right, Tom? That's Tom in the chat, right? It's got to be you in there. All right, Tom, you're getting yourself a $25 gift card sent right to you. If it's the Tom I'm thinking of, then I already have your information. But if it's not, send me an email, highcoatsouthforwardpitchchannel.com with a screenshot of your account. I'll get you that gift card sent. Wow, look at everyone. I'm looking at all your guys' answers. You guys all knew it. Now, I am asked every single time someone says, I don't get the weedless squid rig. Why is it a weedless squid rig? It's the hook is exposed. I am going to show you why the weedless squid rig is weedless. All right, you guys ready for this? I think I've, I've shown you guys this before. You take the skirt off of the, the rig. Okay, so you control it just like this and it'll catch you tons and tons of mahi and tuna. But you take it off, you take the squid off and then you take a real squid and you put the line into the squid and out the front, poke it right out the front Pull it through so that the hook and the weight goes up into the squid. This little bullet-shaped um, piece of lead here will slide up into the head of the squid and the hook will go tuck into this, basically into the squid. And then what you're left with is one of the most beautiful weedless squid rigs ever. See, the hook is completely hidden. You control it over weeds. It's It won't catch any weeds, but it'll catch you a trophy fish. And that is what makes the weedless squid rig weedless. <laughs> I'm always asked that question. I should make a video about that. All right. Um, but if you don't have a weedless squid rig in your arsenal, I suggest you go get yourself some. Hey, David Chapman, good to see you in here. Cody, what's up, man? Good to see you in here. <laughs> John B, you lost due to backspacing and spelling corrections. All right, that was the first giveaway. We got a lot more prizes to give out. Now I have a, I have a question for you guys. So we are giving away this Kraken electric reel, but but um, what do you guys want? So we have so yes this this club. First place prize is the PC Fun Kraken Reel. This right here with a battery, a portable battery, so you can run it on any rod, run it anywhere. You don't need to bring a battery. It's, it's a beast and it is a beautiful. That's first place prize. And after today, we have to pick the prizes for uh, what month? February. Wait, yeah, February. And then January 1st, we'll be giving away that prize. What do you guys? Would you guys rather have another electric reel as first place prize? Would you do a fishing trip with me? Uh, Daniel won the last fishing trip. We had an awesome time out there. We filled the box with some fish. Would you rather have a fishing trip or would you rather have an electric reel? Or what do you want? I'm curious, you know, what prize would make you guys sign up to the fishing club? And I think right now there's only uh, seven seven or eight people in the 
like in the fishing club. So you have an extremely high chance of winning. Was it seven or eight? It might be actually like 10, but it's not a lot of people are in the club at all. So your chances of winning are through the roof. I'm still taking a loss on the fishing club, but you know what? It's making up for the connections I'm making because we have our live chat and everyone in there keeps me a little motivated, which I need sometimes. Oh, by the way, we are at $300 in sales. $302.38 in sales on sellforafishchannel.com. If we get $200 more in sales, I will take a shot. And I'm finishing this beer right now. <laughs> What's Jason saying? I own a house in Key Largo with a boat ramp and a boat. Where are the hot ladies? Your retirement dreams are crushed. <laughs> You know, let me drink to that. That was a 60 minute IPA. Woo! Ooh, them IPAs got a bitter bite to it. Let me grab one more beer and I'll be right back. Gorilla Caveman, I gotta come down, come over to LA and you'll show me a fun time. I'm down, man. <laughs> that does sound like a good time. I'm super down for that. Actually, I've been meaning to go over there, see my, uh, my aunt. It's been a while. What do you do in LA for a fun time? Whenever I think of LA, I think of, I, you know, I don't even know what I think of. I just think of like, recklessness <laughs> Cody says I hate being weedless Julia you were talking about the stingray oh Dwayne Dwayne spamming the chat try not to spam the chat too much <laughs> yeah Stephanie there's only like 10 or 11 you guys should be winning everything John B. Yeah, the reel is probably cheaper and more nationwide friendly. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's kind of like, the problem with me giving away fishing trips is if somebody in like Canada wins a fishing trip with me, it is almost impossible to make it happen. Because they'll be like, hey, are you free on April 18th? And then I'll be like, I have no idea. I don't plan that far out ahead. And if I was free, I don't know if the weather is going to be good. It's really tough for me to give away uh, fishing trips, but I can make it work. Like Daniel and I, we had a great fishing fishing trip last time we went out. Um, if you live in Florida, it's a great prize because then you can just drive down anytime. Cody nominates Sonya for a fishing trip. Oh, I'm sure me and Sonya, Sonya will fish one day. I'm sure of it. <laughs> uh, Mike Johnson, is it too late to join the club for the Kraken drawing? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, so... Everyone in the Kraken drawing is everybody that joined the club between January 1st and January 31st. So we're picking somebody that joined last month for, for uh, this drawing. That's why I always do it on the first of the following month. So that way everyone, but if you did join the club 
right now you will be in the weekly drawings and you will be in the next the next big drawing A choice of first place prize, fishing or real. Ah, so you could pick if you want a real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the physical therapist. Hey, what's up, man? Jack's the Key Largo for fishing. I drive to the Keys for lunch. This guy really did drive to the Keys for lunch. We went and had lunch at the Lazy Lobster. <laughs> I can't believe you drove all the way from Jacksonville, all the way down here, just to, just to have lunch. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Dwayne, yeah, it, it, it costs money to be part of the fishing club because that's how I pay for, the, uh, for all the prizes. Tim... Tampa Bay fishing is decent. You're better off fishing offshore to keep fish. Mm, yes, yes. Daniel, what's your good idea? I just saw you in the chat here. David, I saw your jig order. Thank you for the support, man. I wish I could take you guys down to my man cave right now because it is so nice and it would be more fun down there than up here. Hmm. That means I have to move my entire computer setup downstairs, which isn't the worst thing. I could do that. I'm gonna have to think about this. How fun would it be if we did live streams in the man cave where I have access to all my fishing poles and I can just like, cause I could rig up, I could rig up for the following day while hanging out with you guys. It would be perfect. Is anybody going to be at the Everglades Seafood Festival this weekend? Because that'll be a good place to, to meet up with me. <laughs> Jeff, what's up? Fresh catch of the day shipped on dry ice to your home. Uh, if you want some fresh fish, I have some connections down here. I've been thinking about turning that into a business. Because I have connections to get fresh fish. And I could, I, and I have a connection to a shipping company. I've just, I have so many other businesses right now, but that is one that I've always wanted to start. I think it could be huge and I think people would really enjoy it. And it, it would be very seasonal. So like when the yellowtail fishing is really good, I can be on my YouTube channel. I'll be like the yellowtail snapper biting hot, like get them fresh and they're fresh. They, I watch them pack it. They come off the boats here. They go right on the ice and then they get packaged and shipped. It's less than 24 hours from the time that the fish is caught to it being pack, packaged and shipped to the, to wherever they're going. I think people would, would like that. Hey, Cody, see, you guys are close. You guys are close to the Lazy Lobster, an hour, 22 minute drive. That's not far at all. <laughs> what? What is Whistler BC? How is bull test going? Bull test is going really good. If you, I have done almost zero marketing for bull test, but it is like, because I wanted to test it myself for a couple, a couple months before I started marketing. Like I wanted to make sure this stuff works and holy, 
let's just say I was like, I was at 190 pounds stuck. Like I thought I plateaued, you know, and I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, I hit a plateau. That's too bad. And then I started bull test two months ago or like actually almost three months ago now. And like now I'm sitting at 203 and a half. I'll probably be 210 by spring. So like, yeah, it's going. <laughs> Dwayne. Dwayne, you gotta stop spamming the chat, cause I I will I don't want to have to do it, but I will I will do it if I have to. <laughs> I could put you in timeout. Are my are my rigs and jigs only for local use, or do they work on the West Coast? Um. I've never used them on the West Coast, but it, I mean, they're just normal jigs. Like, I would think so. So, my jigs. And we pour and paint all of our own jigs in house at our warehouse in Inverness. My boy Adrian, he is an artist, he makes beautiful jigs. These are all of them and they get suckled up i've caught like you just put a big jig like this i think that's the two two ounce uh that is yeah that is the two ounce or one and yeah these are the lip candy jigs put like a whole squid on there or a, a ballyhoo and just bounce it along the bottom and the muttons and the grouper suck them up they come in a three pack nice big fat jigs yeah, these are the two ounce ones. These are the bigger ones, but they, they're they small ones too. Like, yeah, there's the one ounce ones. Yeah, they work. I always have a pack of those on the boat. <laughs> Daniel, this, this bull test have HGH in it. I don't know. It's just bull testicles. That's all it is. It's just a lot of bull testicles. I mean, there there might be some stuff in it, but it's just bull testicles. <laughs> it's all natural, baby. Is that a random picture of a, of a boat on my website? Yeah, that's just a random picture. That is not my boat. I have not sold my boat yet, Victor, but it is for sale and it's running perfectly. See, now that my boat is running perfectly, I don't want to sell it again. I keep running into this issue. And like the last like four trips I did on it, I was just like, wow, this boat is perfect. And I love this boat so much. I don't know if I want to sell it. So I kind of don't really market it, but it is for sale. Like if someone came to my house right now with 70 grand in a suitcase, they can drive off with my boat. And I'll cry a little bit. And then I'll go hit up my, uh, the new sponsor and I'll be like, all right, it's time to start building the new boat. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm waiting on is I have to sell my boat and then they're gonna, and then I have to pay for the new boat, which kind of, <laughs> and then they have to start building that boat, which will take like four months to get the boat done, four to six months, but I have a 17 foot flats boat coming. So I'm gonna, I'll film backcountry stuff and I'll try to get out offshore on flat days and I'll still be able to film plenty of content without, without my offshore boat. But, uh, yeah, that's the game plan. Do I have a pack of all size jigs? No, they're all just, they all come in three packs, whatever size you want. <laughs> Dr. Tom. How many people do we have in the live chat right now? 
Okay, okay, 67 viewers and only 34 likes? People are forgetting to push that like button. All right, how about we do some giveaways? After all, this is a giveaway stream, right? But I'm just dragging it on. I'm just torturing you guys, making you guys listen to me while I uh, do the giveaway. All right, so let's do the giveaway for the fishing club members now through the spinny wheel thing. And then I'm gonna ask a final question and we're gonna do another $25 gift card to somebody in the live chat. So all you gotta be is here and you might win something. Tyson, what up? You're arriving just in time. Michael, don't even, don't stop guessing questions. We're, we ha I haven't even asked the question yet. Okay. All right. You guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? Why? Look, okay, we were talking about mosquitoes earlier, right? You guys see that right there on my keyboard on the right next to the A key? There's a freaking huge mosquito like just landed and died on my keyboard. Look at this thing. Hold on. It's huge. What the Look at that. Look at that freaking mosquito. I'm holding him by a stinger. We have biblical sized mosquitoes here in Florida. Oh my God. Yeah, that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what we are doing now is the wheel, uh, the spinny wheel of names this is for our fishing club members. Anyone that has joined the club between January 1st to January 31st, we are now picking the winners. And before I do that, let me show you guys what the prizes are. The current prizes that we're about to give away is first place prize. We got the PC Fun Kraken Electric Fishing Reel. This thing's a beast and uh, super popular. I made a video about it and they were sold out of the reels for like six months. They sold so many and so far I've heard nothing but good things from everyone that's bought one. So I'm very happy to promote a product that is a good price. People enjoy it. And me personally, I have, I use it and I have not had a problem with it yet. So stoked. Second place prize is the South Florida Fishing Channel Offshore Package, which has over 30 packs of fishing tackle in it. Everything you could ever need to troll for tuna, mahi, kingfish, wahoo, anything offshore. It's the offshore package and it's loaded down good. That's second place prize valued at like 300 and something dollars. And then third place prize is the PC Fun Carbon X 1000 spinning reel. I use this reel on every fishing trip. It's so much fun. It's light action with good drag, good line capacity, and it's right up there with any competitor brand in terms of quality and saltwater resistance. I've had mine on the boat now for over a year, I think about a year, and it's perfect. Nothing's wrong with it. And you know, I dunked that thing in salt water. So I am the test of all tests. And those are the prizes that we are giving away right now. Let's get to it. Drum roll, please. Let me open the chat up so I can watch you guys freaking out in here. <laughs> Sonia, mos the mosquito should be our state bird. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mike, eat the mosquito to establish dominance. Oh my, okay, well, I haven't had that many beers yet. All right, here we go. Hey, Dirty Dan says, 
you agree with the PC phone reel 1000, 2000, your 2000 caught trigger fish in the video? Oh yeah, you freaking slayed that. That's a heavy fighting fish for a 2000 reel. That reel slaps. Oh, and if you look right here on the video, code SFFC18 at PCFun.com, you can get 18% off a reel that's already a good price. I mean, you're getting, you're basically getting a $150 reel for about $40. So it's, it's a solid deal. Okay. All right, let's do this. This is for, where's my mouse? This is for third place prize. This is for the Carbon X 1000. Here we go. Let's spin it. <laughs> Cody, can you guys see that? Why why is it not showing the name? Cody, congratulations Cody. Cody has won a ton of fishing reels already. Um Cody, if you want if you don't want another Carbon X 1000 fishing reel cuz you probably already have a lot, we could maybe We'll go on the website. Maybe maybe there's a different reel you want on there since you already have that one. But um, congratulations, Cody. And remember, Cody and Stephanie, we have a bass fishing trip. That was, you guys won that a few months ago. Hit me up when you guys want to go bass fishing. Let me know. Let's let's do it. <laughs> oh, you won the you won the five hundred last time. First, last, you missed Dwayne fishing channel already. I didn't block him. Dwayne's not blocked. He's not on timeout. He can type. All right, he can type. <laughs> He's still here. I think. Or maybe he left. Cody, you'd like to pick it up in person? Well, I don't have them in stock. Whenever you guys win these reels, I go on the website and I order it at full price and I have it shipped to you. <laughs> I don't have like a huge stock of fishing reels that I got for free that I'm giving away. Although that would be nice. That's how it should be. All right. You guys ready to do... Second place prize, the offshore fishing package. Let's do that spin right now. And uh, if you go, if if you go on southforfishchannel.com, the offshore, the offshore fishing package. Is that my picture for it? Oh, that's all I have. Okay. Well, you can see in the corner here everything. It's got every stinger tip you could ever need. It's got snap swivels, the slow drifters, the mahi pitchers, the chicken rigs, deep drop lights. Ballyhoo rigs, all the weedless squid rigs, and then it's got some merch too. It's a nice package that anyone would be happy to have. Oh, it's valued at three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, there you go. All right, so that is. Let's do it. Here we go for the offshore fishing package. And here we go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Stephanie, congratulations. Wow, Cody and Stephanie, you guys are, you guys must have some kind of tricks up your sleeve. Wow, congratulations. <sighs> All right, that leaves first place prize is the only one left. The, the reason that I'm saying that Stephanie and Cody must have a trick up their sleeve is because they're a couple. So, you know, and they won, Stephanie won the bass fishing trip. Cody's won a fishing reel. They've won a bunch of stuff.
<laughs> Mike says, I don't live in Florida, so why would I subscribe to watch fishing reports or belong to your fishing club? I subscribe to watch videos, not this. <laughs> You subscribe to the South Florida Fishing Channel. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for first place prize? <laughs> Cody says using up all the life's luck here. Nah, th this is not using up any luck or anything. This is just... This is just for fun. This doesn't... Uh, This doesn't take away from anything. It doesn't add or lose you any karma. <laughs> Steve-O says rough crowd. <laughs> uh, trust me, I... <laughs> oh, damn, you guys are coming in hot in the chat. Oh, boy. All right. This is for an electric reel. Mike, you, if you were part of the club, Mike, you could be winning an electric reel right now, you know? But no, someone else is gonna win it. All right, here we go. This is like a $500 fishing reel and battery that someone's about to win with a push of the button. Are you guys nervous? I know that the club members are nervous. Everyone else watching this probably like, push the damn button and get to the next question. <laughs> All right, yeah, if you want, Alk, if you want to join the giveaways, there is a, a link to it in the video description. And I think right now we have 10, 10, 10 current active people in the club. So your chances of winning are extremely high. Wait, I'll tell you right now how many people are in the club. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, there's more than I thought. There's 16 people in the club. Why did I think 10 earlier? <laughs> All right. Here we go. This is for a Kraken electric reel. I'm actually nervous because I actually, I, I, I feel bad for the people that don't win. I wish everyone could just win, but anyways, let's go. Ready? Here we go. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Who's going to, oh my God. <sighs> Will, Will, why is that all white? Why can't you guys see what that says? Can't, why can't it? <laughs> Fuck, this sucks. There we go. William O. William Od Odling. Odling. Congratulations, William. You won yourself an electric reel. William Odling. Write that down. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Damn, I think, didn't William just came in with a storm? He, he, I think he won a gift card yesterday. Now he won electric reel. All with a $20 entry. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Eric B. <laughs> John B. Press one if you think Heiko needs a bass jersey with the number 69 that says the Winkler on the back. I would wear that. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I would totally wear that. Um, Chelsea, Chal Chelsea, Su Suin, I saw your purchase yesterday. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why you weren't in this giveaway. What time zone are you in? Because the giveaway ended at 12 p.m or AM 12 at night Eastern Standard Time. And I had somebody sign up, which I'm guessing was you at like 1220. 
So you are in the next drawing. You're in Feb You are in March 1st drawing. <laughs> so I should probably ask you what do you want the prize to be? And why aren't you in the in the chat group? You should be in our live chat group if you joined. Because we have a lot of fun in the South Florida Fishing Club chat. Don't we, guys? Who's in the club? Don't we have some fun in there? Sometimes things get a little personal in there. Look, th this is the this is the Telegram. This is our live chat right now in the Telegram group. This is everything since the live stream has started. So everyone's in there chatting away. They're all congratulations, congratulating each other. <laughs> They're saying some pretty funny stuff in here. Eric B, you'll feel less bad if you send me the link so you can be in there. Oh, you haven't got the link yet? Oh, how do I? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I can export everybody in the club and send you guys all a personal email. I'm gonna do that because I think there's like four or five of you that aren't in our live chat group. I need to send an email to all you guys. So keep an eye out for an email. I'll try to send it out tonight. Oh, what are the sales at? Oh boy, let me check. Because if they're at 500 bucks, I need to take a shot. Oh, uh, they're $316. I'm good. I don't have to take a shot. Eric B, you sent me two emails and you think they may be in spam. Hmm. Okay, I never got any emails from you. Hmm. How can I ask you what your email address is without you writing it in here? <laughs> right, or writing it in the chat. You know what? I can. I think I can find your email address. Uh, one second. And I am giving a gift card away to somebody in the live chat right here in a second. So if you're watching right now, stay tuned because you have a chance to win something in just a second. All right, Eric, uh, hold on a second. I'm about, I'm pulling up your account right now. Oh, I have to pay money for this? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. I can't do it off of my off my phone right now. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? I have my laptop right here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna solve this mystery. Like the Scooby Doo team will solve any any crime before dinner time. Wait. Who was that? The twins, the Olsen twins or whatever. We'll solve. Okay, I see your your email ends with the 17 at gmail.com. If you're emailing me from a Gmail, it shouldn't be going to spam though, unless you're email. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Bam, I got your email pulled up though. I'm gonna send you an email after this stream. And then you will be welcomed into the Telegram chat.
Hey, Bob. Good to see you in here. Is this your first live stream? Welcome. Julia, have fun taking the dog out. Oh, Eric, if you're on Instagram, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll just send you the link directly on there. Okay, I have to now go into critical thinking mode and come up with another question for you guys. This will be for a $25 gift card. And I envision you spending it on some lures and then catching a big fish. Wow. That was a beautiful, that was beautiful. All right, and the question is going to be, Hmm, Dr. Tom says potato peeler. That's funny. That's funny. If you know, you know. All right. What is a good question? Hmm. John B. That's funny. Well, technically, the more people that join the fishing club, they don't lower the property value of the establishment because the more people that are in it, the bigger the prizes are going to be. So as soon as like if we get a certain if we get a lot of people in the fishing club, I'm going to start giving away like sport fishing charter trips with flights. So that way, like if you're in Canada or wherever and you win an actual fishing trip, I can actually fly you down here on a set date, but we're not there yet. We're, we need like, um, we probably need like 80 more members before we can give away prizes like that. Maybe 60 members. I don't know. We'll see. Keys to Cuba is 90 miles, 94 miles. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> David, you joined the, the club. Nice. Can't wait for secret fish tips. <laughs> All right, last question. And then, oh my God, it's 9.15 already? Ooh, okay. All right. Um, um, okay. I got a question. All right. You guys ready for this? I'm going to ask a question. First one in the chat gets $25 gift card. All right. And the question, the question is, yesterday, and this is the next video coming out on the South Florida Fishing Channel, and it's going to be a really good one. I tried something different. I tried a unique, I, I really stepped up my game, I think in the last video, and I hope that it shows, and I hope that people are really gonna enjoy this video. Because I actually like, I remember like, even while I was filming it, I'm like, damn, that was good. <laughs> so I don't know. Dr. Tom. Why do you guys do this? You already answered the question that I was gonna ask. Now I have to think of a new question. I was gonna ask, what fish did I cook yesterday? And it was kingfish, okay? All right, Dr. Tom guessed it, but I haven't even asked the question yet, so it doesn't count. Okay, that's teach you guys to stop answering the question before I ask the question. <laughs>
Am I that easy to read? Hmm. I guess I'm too easy to read. Dr. Tom says, ask it quicker. What's the, but, but if, what's the point of, you know, I'm trying to be like a book, you know, you got to read through like 30 chapters before you get to the, to the result at the end. Mm -hmm. All right. It's my fault. I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I'll ask another question then, and I'm not even gonna give you guys any hints. I'm just gonna ask it. How about that? Um, all right. All right, okay, okay, all right, okay. Hey, Elliot, come here. Come here. Come here, bud. Hey, hey. How are you doing? All right, let's give, let's do a stretchy for everyone on stream. Oh, 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 that's a, oh, that was a good stretch, buddy. That was a good stretch. Oh. What are you up to? Hmm? Yeah, this right here is Elliot. You're on live stream right now. I know those studio lights are bright. It hurts your eyes, doesn't it? Mm. All right, Elliot, I have to ask a question to the stream. Do you have any questions? Ooh, Elliot does have a question, but they would never know that. That's a weird question to ask. Hmm. Ah, I can't ask that question. They would have no idea what we were talking about. Should I? All right, Elliot came up with a question, but it doesn't really make sense because nobody, you're gonna have to guess the answer to this question because there's no way that anyone could know the answer. But, um, I don't think I can ask that question. <laughs> Look at those little paws. Look at his little paws. They're so adorable. Look at that little paws. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten huge, huh? He's a big fat cat. Well, he's not fat, but he is big. I mean, oh. Look at that piece of meat right there. That is a nice specimen. Oh, I love that cats just like smell so heavenly. Oh, why do you smell so good? He's just been running around in the bushes all day. He's like stalking lizards. He's like do 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 do. There's a lizard over there. Go catch that lizard. Go catch this lizard. <laughs> All right. I'll put you down, buddy. I'll put you down. That's Captain Elliot. Now I got cat hair on everything. Bubbles. That's funny. Sonya, yeah, he still plays with the toys you sent him. He actually loves, those are his favorite toys. They're actually his only toys I have out right now, but he loves them because they're catnip flavored. He goes crazy for them. <laughs> All right, um, okay, I got a question. Elliot, Elliot wanted me to ask you guys what animal he caught today. Um, but that wasn't a, a fair question because you guys would all be guessing random things, but he caught a lizard today and he brought it to me and he was very proud of it. And he was holding the, it was very funny. It was like a fat lizard. It wasn't like your normal lizard. It was like a fat lizard and he was holding it very gently. Like, and he just dropped it. And then I was holding the lizard and then the lizard like jumped off my hand and ran away. And then Elliot looked at me very disappointed that I let his lizard run away. 
But okay. I have a question now. Oh, dirt. Dirty Dan, you gave me a good question in the chat. I already, I, ha I have a question though. Oh, that would be a good question to ask. But now everyone in the, that would be a good question. Damn, I had a question lined up and now I kind of want to ask your question. No, you know what? I'm I'm going to ask my question because my question is way stupider than your question. Your question is good. I might save that one actually for a future video. All right, here we go. The question is, I took my, so I, here I, here I go explaining way too long. You guys are going to guess it before I even get to the question. I cleaned my entire man cave downstairs and I have a whole rigging station. Everything is so clean downstairs and like ready for fishing and for content creation. And I have my fridge, the ice maker. I cleaned everything out. I took everything out defrosted everything everything is perfect now the question is i put there i put so i defrosted the chest freezer there's only one thing that i put back in the chest freezer after i cleaned it what is in my chest freezer it's i have a pack or a, a thing of what is in my chest freezer? That's my question. All right, I'm not gonna give any more hints. Guess what's in my chest freezer? The one thing in my chest freezer. Did I get the blow up doll installed? I think my blow up doll died a long time ago. Ever since we took her to Bimini, I think she got molested by the gardener there because uh, I don't wanna get into it. Okay, hold on. Okay, I see you guys answering the question. You gotta be specific. All right, you gotta be specific. Like, like if it was a rigged mahi belly for swordfish bait, the answer would have to be mahi belly swordfish bait or something like that. Mahi won't cut it. So... So you have like what you can't just name a fish species or something. You gotta like what is in my chest freezer? And I'll give you guys a hint. What kind of fishing have I been doing the last few days? And what would I use for that kind of fishing? <laughs> my ex. Damn, you guys have some dark humor. I love dark humor. It's actually, I think dark humor is like the best kind of humor. <laughs> oh, man. oh boy, I have too much fun. All right, all right, somebody answered the question. I saw the answer, the answer was in there. You guys got it, you guys got it. Okay, I'm not sure who answered it first. I'm about to look. Let me check our rig sales. Okay, we're still at 316. I was kind of hoping I could do a shot today, but I'll be fine not taking a shot. You know, in order for me to take a shot, someone would have to put in a $200 order right now or two people put in a hundred dollar order or four people. Okay, all it would take for me to take a shot right now is if four people went and bought the brand new improved windbreaker, water resistant, wind resistant, beautiful, and 
you will look even better than me when you wear this thing. People are gonna be like, damn, this guy looks smooth, right? It's $55. $55. And four people buy that right now, and I'll take a shot. <laughs> okay, all right, now let's see who won. Who just won that chat? All right, I'm, I'm gonna scroll down. So a lot of you guys were mentioning Bonita, and you were kind of right, but the answer was, drum roll, Bonita Strips. Okay, we've been trolling Bonita Strips. So I have a pack of Bonita Strips. It's the only thing in the chest freezer right now, which is so beautiful. Oh, my, my neighbors just showed up. I haven't seen them in months. Now I have to whisper. <laughs> my office is like, oh, like there's a window. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a... Oh, a, a window like right here and, and my neighbors just pulled up and now they probably can hear me yelling at my computer screen and they think I'm crazy. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so Benita Strips was the answer. I'm looking through the chat right now. Let's see who the first person is. I got it. Benita, Benita, Chum. Chum, chum, shrimp, shrimp, squid, candy, beer. Tyson. Okay, Tyson, your answers. Okay, you, you said beer. Well, I would not put beer in a chest freezer. I have before and it turned out bad when it exploded. But why would I put beer in it? And then you said my ex-girlfriend. Clearly, none of these things are things I would ever put in a chest freezer. I just had to say that in case anyone was listening. Blue waffles, the gardener story. Oh, the gardener story. Mm. Um, Bonita strips. Oh, there we go. First person that answered it was Mike Johnson. Yo, congratulations, Mike. Shoot me an email, Heiko at southforwardfishingchannel.com with a screenshot of your account. Why is your name so familiar? I know a Mike Johnson. Are you the Mike Johnson? Stephanie, you were right after him. You almost had it, Stephanie. You were like t just a couple seconds of a... Um, you almost had it there. <laughs> Damn it, Ryan, quit tagging the FBI and the ATF and the CIA and then my chat. Jeez, you're going to get me in trouble. I don't need people coming over here and checking my chest freezers. I should have given away a jacket today. Yeah, true, true. But you can use your gift card to buy a jacket. So that's kind of, you know... <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> my future ex. Oh my god. Uh, it seems to be that like me and my relationships is like somehow a running joke on my fishing channel. It's not supposed. My relationships are not supposed to be like. My fishing channel was never supposed to have that at the butt end of my jokes, but somehow that's, I guess, what happened over the last seven years. I guess, uh, yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, you pay attention and value advice in my videos. Thank you. Look, last sip. Cheers, guys. Last sip of beer.
Looks like I'm going to get away without needing to take a shot today. Hallelujah. All right. John P says it's better than explaining to your wife why you have 30 to 40 fishing rods. Mm. Yeah, see, I don't know. Well, actually, you know what? My accountant is kind of like my girlfriend because I have to constantly explain to my accountant why I made specific purchases and why they're business expenses. And they're always like, I go, that is not a business expense. And I'm like, yes, it is. I'm like, you better be putting it on there. The business expense right off investment. That's an investment. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> Mickey! Oh man, <sighs> yeah. All the rods cost ten dollars. I agree. If anyone asks, the boat was two thousand dollars. The rods were ten twenty bucks a rod. The electric reels I got for a steal. They were like twenty dollars. Oh, the TRX is definitely a write-off. I mean, the TRX is a... I put a sticker on it that says South Florida Fishing Channel. Wrote the whole thing off. <laughs> Do not tag the IRS. Oh, man. It's going to be like... Mm, the IRS is coming. Yeah, I've already... The IRS knows who I am. We're cool. We're cool, kind of. Not really. Although they did, they gave me a big fee a few years ago, and I called them and I pleaded my case, and they dropped they dropped the whole thing on me. So sometimes you gotta complain a little bit, you know, be like, man. <laughs> if you get the right person on the right day, sometimes you get lucky. Hmm. All right, well, you know what, guys? It was super fun being on this live stream. We are at an hour and a half in. I told myself this was gonna be a 30 minute stream and bam, we're at an hour and a half. So, whoa, I just realized it took me an hour and a half to drink two beers. The old Heiko would be very ashamed of me right now. I should be on beer like six by now, but. I, I guess I'm a slow drinker. <sighs> Maybe I'll have another one after the stream. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if a cop knocked on my door right now. I don't know if hilarious is the right word, but it would be uh, it would be interesting. I would tell them I'm streaming and they should come in and talk and say hi to the stream. I think that'd be pretty funny. And I'll be like, if you're gonna arrest me, at least do it in front of all these people. <laughs> oh man. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna end this. I think I'm gonna end this stream. I'm going to check uh, one last thing real quick. All right, we are good. <sighs> All right, I'm reading the chat right now. Yeah, good night. Good night, everybody. Um, I have a really, really awesome fishing video coming out. It'll probably come out. Uh, I'm not sure. Saturday or Sunday, but I think it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned for it and let me know what you guys think about it because I did the editing a little different on it. And I don't know. I'm trying to find something like to bring some spice bring some spice back to the channel and I think I stepped up my cooking a bit and I try to make the intro a little more fun and stuff but um you know 
constant grind this YouTube stuff. And I will see all you guys uh, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow on the fishing update. And then I will be at the Florida Everglades uh, Seafood Festival on Saturday. So I won't be streaming Saturday. Probably won't be streaming Sunday either. And then Monday I'll try to do the stream. I try to do a fishing report stream. I try to do it every day, but realistically it's more like three or four times a week. It just kind of depends on my schedule. And if it's windy for a week straight, I, I just don't get around to it because there's I don't even have a fishing report. But uh, yeah. All right. Good night, all you guys and girls. Cheers.